Are you looking to buy in central Los Angeles area? If so, I'm gonna give you some tips right now and show you what a good investment looks like in mid-city Los Angeles. I'm Davin Nogueira, I'm a realtor and real estate investor in the LA area. And today, we're gonna to talk about mid-city. Mid-city is a neighborhood of LA that I took some interest in recently because I'm looking for an investment property in that area because Airbnb rates are great there. But it's also a good place to live depending what you do for living. If you need to travel into West Hollywood, Beverly Hills all the time, and that's not a place that you can afford to buy a house, Mid-City is actually somewhat affordable and a good investment because it's still going through a lot of change. So for example, I got two houses to show you guys. One house just below 2 million and one house just over 2 million. The difference being is one house is below the 10 freeway, closer to Jefferson Park, and the other house is above the 10 freeway, closer to Miracle Mile and Beverly Hills, actually seven minutes away. Obviously that one's my favorite, but it does cost more. So for example, um, the house on Victoria Street below the 10 freeway, still a good investment. The main difference will be that part of mid-city streets are gonna be a little rough. Not every house is gonna be remodeled, good looking, well taken care of, but you're still gonna get really good rates on Airbnb. And if you decide to buy as an investment, and you wanna rent it to a tenant, you can still get between a house and ADU because both of these houses have a house plus an ADU in the back, you can get close to $10,000 a month um, on the house below the 10 freeway on Victoria Street. Now the one on Stanley above the 10 freeway, that one will probably make a similar number on Airbnb, maybe an extra $2,000 a month. That's the type of house that if you Airbnb the whole thing, will probably make around $13,000 a month between the two units. If you just Airbnb the back unit, we'll probably make around 5,000. The other one below the 10 freeway, probably around the same. But if you're living in the property and that's where the biggest difference is for me, you're gonna be closer to the better parts of Los Angeles. So a house like that, that's already done. You don't have to do anything. You can just move in into it, rent out the back unit if you need to supplement your mortgage but you're still close to Beverly Hills, you're still close to West Hollywood. It's easy to move around if you're the type of person that drives a lot. That's a great pocket of Los Angeles to live in and it's still a good investment because it's still going through lots of change. There's a lot of developers investing in that area. Hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you're looking to buy a mid-city, great, great investment. I'm gonna be doing more videos about it and I'll see you in the next one.